This is Twit. Everybody loves a dazzling 3D animation, but not all 3D animation packages are created equal. I'm standing next to Paul here at Maxon, who's going to tell us why their package should be the one that you learn. Paul, thank you very much for talking to us. Oh, well, thank you for talking to me. Now, you are demoing one of your suites here at the booth. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, Cinema 4D is a full-featured 3D animation package, modeling, texturing, animation, lighting package. It's used for motion graphics, visual effects, uh, scientific and medical animation, uh, visualization for architecture and engineering, pretty much anything a graphic artist is going to want to do. Okay. Now, this is great, and I understand that your package is actually pretty easy to learn, but let me be a little cynical for a second. This hall is filled with dozens of companies that think that they are the 3D package that you should buy, that they are the 3D package to learn, that they are the tool that everyone should have. What makes your package the one that they actually need to learn? Well, first thing, we, we always consider ourselves another paintbrush in the tool set. There are going to be cases where you may be using multiple 3D packages when you're doing a production. However, we are the easiest of the 3D packages to pick up and learn. That being said, 3D is complex. 3D is a hard thing to learn. It, it, you know, it's, it's the progression of Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, 2D animation into 3D animation. And it's not for everybody. But we are one of the easier packages to pick up and learn. One of the other reasons you would want to pick us up is integration. Uh, we integrate better than anybody else with the Adobe suite of tools, including there's a light version of Cinema included with After Effects. We utilize Photoshop files. We render out multi-layered Photoshop files. You can use Illustrator files, drag and drop those into Cinema to use as profiles to create 3D models. And we do this with other app, uh, companies as well. Uh, at the show here, we're showing for the first time integration with VizRT. And so an artist can create a, a virtual set in Cinema 4D, and it can be live on their with their live graphics package. So if you go over there, you can see that move set pieces around and live it thus moving around. So it's completely integrated in their system as well. So the idea is to make it as easy as possible for artists to access the tools that they need to use to create great imagery and just make sure that Cinema 4D is part of that process. Okay, now let's go off script for just a second. Okay. I, I like the tool, I'm going to play with it, but if there was someone out there, an amateur content creator, who wanted to get into the 3D game, what would be your advice? What would be the things he or she should do to get started? Okay, well, you've got to start with the basics, 2D, you know, like I said, Illustrator, Photoshop, understand the 2D design world before you put things into motion. I think the next step is something like After Effects where you can create 2D animation and then you get into the 3D part of it. That's why we include it with After Effects because it's, it, it gives people to, a chance to get a taste of what 3D can do for them. Pick up the product and give yourself a project. Go to, there's so many tutorials. There are so many resources online. There are so many great places to find uh, help with people. The, the community is amazing. They'll give you feedback. They'll give you suggestions. They'll offer help. And that's really, it's just about exploring the world of 3D. Paul, thank you very much. The man, the method, the Maxon. Thank you.